Here's your weather briefing for this Sunday. It's May the 12th, Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there. Thank you for all that you do for all of us. We appreciate you and we love you very much. Beautiful day on Saturday across Alabama. Got to spend a good bit of the day down at the Civic Center. The uh, Birmingham Stallions undefeated still with an exciting victory over the uh, St. Louis Battlehawks. Uh, and A.J. McCarron, former Alabama football player, but the Stallions pulled out uh, another uh, thrilling victory and uh, are already a clinch uh, for the playoffs and um, are heading uh, for another uh, amazing record this year in the UFL. Let's look at the upper pattern across North America uh, here on this Sunday morning and uh, take it through time. But right now we've got a, a trough moving off the east coast, a uh, trough sitting over southern Canada with a big upper low, and another big trough over the uh, southwestern United States moving out of the Four Corners region. And uh, it will be our next weather maker by Monday afternoon. Uh, around 1 o'clock, the uh, upper low will be centered over uh, central Kansas. Uh, we'll begin to see the effects of the troughiness reaching Alabama. Clouds are already going to be increasing today. Uh, showers and thunderstorms will move into the state late tonight, um, probably mostly after midnight, as we'll see, um, and uh, then uh, progress across the state on Monday, um, and then and then slowly exit the state on Tuesday. You see the upper low there cuts off again over uh, southwestern Illinois, uh, northeastern Missouri, and uh, the trough begins to progress across Alabama. Our nicest day of the week probably comes on Wednesday, as we'll see in a moment, with the trough to the east of us. Uh, flat ridge there uh, for Thursday. Uh, but we'll see already increasing clouds again in our next weather maker moving in. And uh, that will affect us for the weekend. Big ridge of high pressure over the uh, Gulf of Mexico uh, that's going to influence our weather, too, as we'll see. These disturbances moving through the uh, flow, the fast flow there between the uh, uh, ridge to the uh, south and uh, high pressure to the north brings us another upper low by the weekend. It's on out of here, though, by early the following week. And as we get into the week two voodoo period, uh, we remain unsettled, even though it looks like uh, we should be fairly dry with uh, ridging over Alabama. This is the GFS, the 18Z run. It's uh, what I have all in here tonight at 11.15 as I produce this video for Sunday morning. Uh, look at there, a uh, little snow in Colorado maybe even northern New Mexico as a, a cold air mass is over those states in the western United States. Showers and thunderstorms already breaking out over Texas by noon today. Some of those showers may extend as far east as southwestern Alabama during the afternoon, but I think most of the rain will hold off until at least after sunset, and uh, that looks like that's pretty a pretty decent forecast. Showers and thunderstorms will be on the increase, though, through the uh, late night hours into the pre-dawn and into Monday. We'll see showers and thunderstorms across Alabama. The chance of uh, thunder is fairly low, and the chance of severe weather is um, really sort of non-existent. Uh, as we get into Monday night, showers and thunderstorms will be increasing. The surface low there you see in southwestern Missouri, thousand and one millibars not exceptionally strong but it's in a good position to bring us some strong thunderstorms and i think we'll see a few of those late monday nights we get into tuesday the system will be pushing on off to the east clearing skies will begin to move in from the west but you can see a few lingering showers there over the northern half of alabama and some heavy rain and thunderstorms continuing over the extreme southeastern part of the state and the Florida Panhandle. Those uh, showers will be slow to move out. This is uh, just after midnight on Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. That surface low just sort of meandering along there across southern Kentucky. A few showers during the late night hours over eastern Alabama. They could even linger into the northeastern part of the state on Wednesday. This is at uh, 1 p.m. Wednesday afternoon. The surface low is dropping into uh, the uh, western Carolinas there, the upstate portion of South Carolina. Uh, but here, most of Alabama, we're going to be dry. Looks like we'll be completely dry by Wednesday night. Thursday looks dry as well, but you can see another disturbance in the flow pushing across Louisiana, and that will bring showers back into the southern parts of Alabama there late Thursday night. Showers and thunderstorms will be likely late Thursday night into Friday across a good bit of the state. And I did see some signals for severe weather uh, possibly late Thursday night, early Friday morning. Uh, you know, I don't think that's really anything to be too concerned about, but it does uh, present itself possibly as a slight risk on the uh, 
on the uh, SPC outlook by the time we get to uh, Thursday and Friday. The uh, front, as you see, drops down into South Alabama there Friday night. Uh, showers and thunderstorms will be likely close to the front, and a few showers and uh, maybe a thunderstorm will be located over the northern half of the state, too. Now, I thought we'd get this system out of north and central Alabama, but the GFS is bullish on this system sort of remaining uh, in close proximity to north and central Alabama for the weekend, and that means rain chances could stay in the forecast. I was hoping we'd get them out of here, but uh, the GFS is bullish on a Fairly wet system moving into Alabama during the day on Sunday. Uh, showers, a few thunderstorms possible there. Uh, that low pressure system is near Chattanooga by uh, midnight Sunday night into early Monday. As we turn the page into the week two voodoo period, uh, that low moves on off. Looks like we're fairly dry on Monday, uh, possibly dry into Tuesday. Um, Wednesday looks dry. I don't know about my thoughts about being unsettled. Here comes the front uh, dropping into North Alabama there Wednesday night into Thursday. That leads to an increase of showers and thunderstorms during the day on Thursday and a few of those lingering into the weekend. Now we're getting into the Memorial Day forecast period here. This is Friday night the 24th. Showers fairly widespread across Alabama. They're there on Saturday. They're there on Saturday night. And they're fairly widespread on Sunday. Now as we get into Memorial Day, looks like more of the same. So it could be a fairly wet Memorial Day. But you know, this is two weeks out, and that's why we call it the voodoo period. Lows this morning across Alabama, pretty nice, starting out in the 50s. Um, we'll have one more day of 50s on Monday morning, um, at least in some locations. Many spots will be in the lower 60s. But then it may be goodbye uh, to 50s uh, after we get after this week. You saw that some there, uh, we were seeing some 50s on uh, Thursday morning. Um, but then uh, it may be goodbye to 50s. Uh, for a long, long time, probably until September. Uh, these are highs today across Alabama. They're going to be generally from about 80 in the northeastern part of the state to about 84 there uh, in Bibb County. Um, and then as we get into Monday, the uh, temperatures will be held back just a bit by the clouds and the showers. Uh, Tuesday, we're returning mostly to the 80s. Might stay around 79 up around Scottsboro. Uh, 70s a little more common on Wednesday behind that cold front. So um, that'll be kind of nice. Uh, 78, 79 have to, may have to issue a perfect weather watch for Wednesday. It's when those high temperatures are around 78 degrees with sunshine. As we get into Thursday, you see the temperatures heading back up. We'll be lower to middle 80s, uh, probably there for the foreseeable future. Now, as we go day by day on the WPC precipitation forecast, you see today is dry. Um, yeah, that's pretty pretty good consensus forecast. Uh, rainfall amounts by noon on Monday uh, will be approaching the uh, one inch amount uh, over southwestern western sections of the state. Rainfall amounts pretty generous there Monday night into Tuesday. Um, over the southern half of Alabama, rainfall amounts will be approaching two inches. Northern part of the state will get out with the least amount, around three quarters of an inch, the I-20 quarter, picking up around an inch probably. You see that rain moving out. These are the, this is the rainfall basically uh, from late Tuesday night into early Wednesday. Uh, the Wednesday to Thursday period, fairly dry. Another period of moderate heavy rain, especially in the I-20 quarter there, Thursday night into Friday. And it uh, looks like that rainfall holds into Saturday. Now, this is um, the SPC outlook. Uh, this will be the day two as I make this forecast. It will turn out to be something like this for the day one. We'll update that, of course, uh, on, the, on the blog in the morning. But uh, it looks like a marginal risk of severe weather uh, across a good chunk of the Lone Star State for your Sunday. Monday, uh, a bit of a, uh, probably a, probably heading for a slight risk, maybe an enhanced risk, eastern Texas into central Louisiana as we get into day two. And then day three, a fairly widespread uh, uh, outlook for severe weather there all the way from the Texas coastal plain up into northeastern Texas, the entire state of Louisiana, southern Arkansas, and southwest, southwestern Mississippi. That's what makes me think that we might see uh, you know, an isolated uh, severe thunderstorm late Monday night into Tuesday in Alabama. The SPC right now has a sort of in a marginal risk. But that's uh, pretty far out there. This is a five-day rainfall forecast. 
uh, valid through Thursday night, showing uh, rainfall amounts generally uh, about an inch and a quarter over the Tennessee Valley, about two inches in the I-20 quarter, uh, a little greater than that, around two and three quarters inches over south central Alabama with the heaviest rainfall amounts uh, coming, of course, for south Alabama where they could expect, you know, three and three quarters to, you know, four and a half inches of rain. So it will be uh, it will be a fairly wet and unsettled week across Alabama. These are temperatures uh, off the National Blended Model summarizing for Birmingham. Coldest or coolest, I guess, at this point. 73 on Monday, 79 on uh, Wednesday. Otherwise, we're going to be in the 80s. We'll be approaching the upper 80s by, uh, looks like, Memorial Day. So that'll feel like, uh, uh, well, that's not Memorial Day. That's just the weekend of the uh, the 20th into that voodoo period on week two. Some lower 80s, getting a little ahead of myself there. We'll be uh, settling into uh, lows in the upper 60s, a little bit above normal for this time of year, but not exceptionally so. Weather Brains, the weekly netcast that's all about weather. We'll talk to Mike Iles, uh, an old friend of the podcast. Uh, he's working for a company called Spire. He's doing some amazing work uh, in satellite and modeling. And uh, I'm, I'm sure Dr. Neil Jacobs will have a lot of questions for Mr. Isles. We'll walk back through his career, some of the fun things he's done. He's given us some really cool products over time and um, has been a guest on Weather Brains from time to time over the long 18 years that we've been doing it. Get it wherever you get your podcast or at www.weatherbrains.com. And don't forget you can watch it live on YouTube as we record it at 7 p.m. Monday. That's youtube.com forward slash weatherbrains. Well, that's your full weather video for this Mother Day. Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day again, Mom. And I uh, hope you have a great day today. I'll have notes on the blog, a complete update on the forecast coming up at noon. We'll watch that radar this afternoon for see when those showers get into Alabama. Expect a little rain tonight. James will be back two days tomorrow. Scott will be here next Saturday. I enjoyed sitting in for him yesterday. I'll see you next Sunday. And until I get that chance, as I always say, keep an eye to the sky, especially around 4 a.m. this morning. You might see an aurora, and uh, you'll always have something fun to look at.